Guys, have you ever noticed that these kind of strips are only built over frames of the induction motors? However, if we see a DC motor of same rating, we didn't find these types of strips. Let me tell you the reason. The first thing is that the stator of induction motor gets more heated as compared to stator of DC motor. As we know, we give AC current to the stator winding of induction motor, whether it is a single phase or three phase. And AC current makes changing magnetic field. Any metal comes in the vicinity of this changing magnetic field like the winding of the rotor and EMF get induced in that. And due to the closed circuit, AC current start flowing in that. This also applies to the stator core and the frame. And cyclones of electric current gets produced in both. This cause excessive loss of energy in form of heat. And this current is known as eddy current. To reduce this current as much as possible, the core of induction motor is made in layers so that the effective resistance of the core is increased. But it is not possible to make the frame in layers because it should be strong. Eddy current does not contribute in the function of the induction motor. Only it does the loss of energy in form of heat. To dissipate this heat, the strips are placed on the frames of induction motor. These increases the surface area of the motor and the temperature of motor remain in the limit so that insulation of motor doesn't get melt and not cause short circuit between turns of the winding. Remember that in the stator winding of DC motor, we give direct current which produces stationary magnetic poles. Until the magnetic field associated with the stator core and the frame does not change, no EMF can be induced in them. So, there will be no such eddy current and hence no such production of heat in the stator core and the frame of DC motor. That's why the pole shoe of DC motor are made solid. They do not need to be laminate. Means no need to make them in layers and there is no need to do this type of special cooling arrangement in its frame. But in its rotor eddy current will produce even if the magnetic field of stator is stationary but the rotor rotates then the rotor feel like a magnetic field change. Therefore it is necessary to laminate the rotor of DC motor. So in any winding if we give AC current or it is generated in it we need to laminate the core of it such as in case of transformer the core is laminated. Even in the case of choke of tube light, if we talk about the big alternators which usually installed in generating stations where the rating of power voltage and current is very high, the stator core of alternator is often laminated as AC voltage is produced in its stator winding. Whereas the rotor consists of solid core because it is energized by DC supply to produce fixed pole. That's why the frame of induction motor consists these kinds of strips whereas in case of DC motor of same rating does not. Hope you like the video. If yes, please like and share it. Dear friends, if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, please subscribe and also press the bell icon. Then only you will get notification of our upcoming videos. Thank you.